Okay, um, what I'm going to try to do here is record something that may evolve into something else in conjunction with essays most of you guys have submitted and a program, a final exam that um, you're going to take in January that, that connects to what we're doing right now. Okay, so here's the story. I have a, a series of things that uh, are online, and one of them is a um, document you, you've all received uh, an invitation to. It's over on bit.ly.com forward slash mwdocument03, and it happens to be a doc that asks you to make a comment or two or three about creative zones or, or you might have done creative work. And I want to get commentary in this document from you as the weeks go on. Now, the, the big thing that I want you to be able to know is that there is a collaborative project online called iCollab Community of Practice. It's findable by going to bit.ly iCollab map, and it's that URL is also in the document three. What we are going to do today uh, in the um, time that we have for the practical or tutorial session this afternoon is add you to this map, but you need to know why we're doing it. And that might appear really, really obvious if we're joined in this hangout here uh, by some people in, in Galway. Just to show you that as a point of interest. On the left-hand side of this map, there's a bunch of people identified by peg men or peg women that are participants in an international collaborative venture looking at a variety of things, primarily at where people might find creative zones or might find content that they could share in a collaborative fashion. We're in the zone because I want to put your name and your reference details on a map which I know from experience will serve you well as a portion of your professional collateral or your professional identity. Lots of other people are showing up on this map with small little iconography pieces which um, are actually just um, samples of uh, icons you can grab on the map. There you go. It's there. So now what, what Emma is doing is she's recording onto a program stuff that I'm saying that would allow me to, to take this short presentation and make it more meaningful for yourself if you were to rewind it. For students that are in Galway who may be watching remotely or for collaborators that are in New Zealand, Australia, <laughs> Berlin, Paris, Manchester, Spain, and uh, I missed a country I know. So anyway, there are different people and you can see kind of the, the countries they're in by, by scrolling down on this list. I need to mention the fact that when we first started this about a month ago, fewer than, fewer than 1,000 people had viewed this screen. It's well over 4,000. By the end of the day, it'll be over 5,000. By the end of the month, it'll be over 10,000. Now, I'm speaking from experience when I tell you this. I know that when you go onto a community of practice, and this is an international research community of practice, unfunded and voluntary, when you go into this zone, it's like going onto some super-powered link blogging mechanism of the early 2000s. Everybody that's on the top of this stack, starting with Tom Cochran, Avril Gordon, Sarah Howard, Olena Bakukum, all these people have serious academic credentials and are linking to this project, which means that as long as you don't make a mess of it, you're going to benefit from their, their Google juice. You'll benefit from their stature and their, their standing. What they want to benefit from is shared collective moments of creativity that come on the back of the essays you've written and some things you'll do with the essay content in terms of the Google Documents and some map making that I'm going to have you do, where you actually put pins on a map related to creative zones, points of creativity, or maybe where a book was published that was providing you exceptional creative information. That's what we're doing. Now, the big thing is, is that in January, you'll be asked to respond to an exam question about what we're doing. But it won't be tell me more about the iCloud map project. It'll be asking you to provide 120 words as a response to a proposal to a funding agency for something involving collaborative creativity. I haven't formed the, the exam question in my mind. I'll have it done by Thursday. But I'm telling you that you'll have to write a response to a question on the exam up to 120 words that is in response to a client asking for your input to a proposal for work that they need done. In visual comms, it might be called a treatment. Um, in a media production course, it might be called the brief. 
in European Union, it's an RFP. If you're working for a creative agency, like you, uh, you were responding to a 10,000 euro brief that the Tiberi County Council issued, they'd be asking for an RFP. You'll speak to somebody on this course, they'll come in as a guest lecturer, who explains to you how they evaluated an RFP and awarded some company 10,000 euro to, to design the letter T, I-P-P-E-R-Y. So you'll see that. And you need to know before you leave the second year how to do RFPs or how to do briefs or how to do things that you're covering both the visual comms as well as media writing. So it's an important, it's an important commercial skill set. What do you need to do? Well, in the tutorial session, I'm going to have you put these pin, put pinpoints on this map so that when you look at the map, you'll, you'll see yourself in a position where it means something. So if I zoom in on the country of England, you'll see a lot of people with strange icons. Uh, the Galway guys have put themselves in the water, some of them <coughs> picking football with Roy Keane on a boat. Um, some of that's by accident. Um, I want to get a dimension of uh, findability for the LSAD creative multimedia and animation programs in Clonmel. So I would like you to be able to show me the dexter manual dexterity needed to drop your peg man or peg woman icon into the space called Clonmel. You can use the satellite or the earth view, put yourself in exactly in the lecture hall or the student union building or on a roundabout, but I want to be in the vicinity of Clonmel. You want to put yourself in a bed sitter, a place you wish you could afford, or down at a, at a, uh, um, a place where you get good snack box with rest, well, you can do that as well. But I want to be in the vicinity of Clonmel. Unless you have a creative reason of putting yourself, uh, your peg man or your peg woman icon, in a venue where you want to work. So you'll be putting yourself on this map. And when you do it, I'm hoping that you put, you, you're in giving some kind of, um, collateral uh, to answer the question, what are you? So here's Michael Losty. Four days ago, he identified himself as a person who follows this hashtag. He is a uh, student at NUI Galway. He says you can follow him in this place here, Balotelli, sounds like the footballer. And he likes walking on the beach rainy day. He's just sitting down to a good book. So maybe Michael fits into your life because of how he identified himself. He actually showed you where in the world he may be found along the River Boyne. What, where's all this connect? Um, I'm going to... Okay, you, most of you have submitted an essay on creativity. This is how I would have done the outline of the essay if I was doing it myself. I would have said, right, can I find a, pi a point on the earth where it, which can be precisely identified as a creative place? If so, can I give it a pinpoint? And as I'm doing it, can I think of some other media element? Sound, smell, motion. I have in my mind an image that's in my head when I'm in that creative space. I have a color in mind. I have specific content that I look for. I call it tagged content. Things I can look for and discover and always lead to me to moments of inspiration. I'll give you a, a hint of what I do. I look for popular things on Pinboard. And I occasionally find something here that's pretty interesting. Or I may discover, okay, of those people who use Pinboard, who's talking about animation? And the thing is, most people talk about animation on Pinboard, but here we are. A brief history of the video game title design. The art of the title. Okay, that's actually an essay that some people need to write in fourth year. And <laughs> done Larry, I think. Um, lots of missing links here. ASCII cows, lazy line painters, web apps deserve sexy transitions. It's an animation using JavaScript and Ardman prospects for animators and jobs. So it's most of the animation stuff on Pinboard relates to Java, JavaScript animation. Um, I, I'm sometimes interested in, um, if I go to a place, like I just visited Pennsylvania Dutch country, so that'd be the Amish. Um, interesting stuff here. So like the point is, I know people that write about the Amish and they use this as their, they, 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 they use this kind of method of finding out who else has written in the past or guys images that they can use to borrow. So one of mentioning all that is that's tagged content. I have in my mind things that are really important to me because they lead to other things and better stuff. Activity streams are normally I want I know you I said electronic ones before. What I'm looking for here is stuff that might be physical things you do, physical activities. Annotations of creativity is meant to be a way to get you back into annotating a piece of work. I like Banksy. He wrote a book called Wall and Peace in 2005 uh, with monkeys, cops, rats, cows, art, and street furniture. It's pretty interesting, 240 pages of cool stuff. And finally, backing tracks, 
I popped into a place here on Last FM. Uh, you can actually, um, I discover that I can be most creative with some backing tracks, not from stuff that's in my own library, but stuff that comes from people that, that have um, strange but eclectic interests. So I follow interesting people. Um, a guy named Phil Sorrow gives me some inspiration with what he listens to. A woman called Rapture Ponies, I'm not sure what her real name is. She's in Greece, an Irish woman living there. Just interesting stuff on the back of it all. So I fill these things in. Uh, most of these do items in this Google document in, I'd also, I, I, and, I, and perhaps end up with something that I could use when populating this map over here. The overall goal of doing this is just to prove that one piece of content that you've written for an essay actually has legs in the creative media space when it goes to putting real credentials onto the thing you wrote with a place or a time or some motion, some temporal shift movement into another dimension. If you're able to do that, then you're truly able to create in abstract written form a tasking document for a Foley artist, for an animator, for an illustrator, or for a team of creative writers. And then, if we're able to drop it into this collaborative map, you're going to intersect the thought space of people who may want to share what you're doing. Just to let you know what can be done on the side of this thing, this is free. The mechanism we're using actually allows us to um, bring in things from apps, to just capture a screen and send it to somebody, to bring in things from SlideShare. So I want to take the best of the creative essays, the best of the stuff that's written first year, and put them into a SlideShare packet that can be then shared. It can allow for um, content to be displayed below, the lower third, like uh, you've seen it on television screens, name of the presenter. If I do it on here, the apps aren't installed to allow that to happen and allow me to, to go to a, an, an app called Kaku for a Hangout. So it's a Kaku's like a, a mind meister, it's a mind mapping. It's a visual. Um, doodling program and there's a bunch of other apps you can, you can grab down here that are recent apps so there you have it um, right so I do want to do I just do want to do I do want to do a quick Q&A because I know that uh, Patrick from the audience or Dave from the audience tell me if, tell me what is the main deliverable then like you guys have done it uh, Amber, Amber Dave uh, David and Patrick did some of this stuff this morning so some of the animators weren't there for that but so you guys did do it. What's what's the um, in your mind? What's the end result deliverable? Okay, so Dave, Patrick's saying there is a wider audience available for work that you can put in front of somebody who may just like your name or like your may like the your art, may like your creativity, and they interact with you, and now all of a sudden you get an unexpected serendipity on the back of the audience. Um, but to make it kind of specific, is there um, David, is there, what's the January deliverable? Because, I mean, I know some people saying, look, that's all well and good, but <coughs> how's this help me academically? What's the, what did I tell you is going to happen in January? It's going to help us the exam question. Okay, the exam question is a lot. You guys, both you guys identified to me where the intersection of what I'm going to ask hits visual communications. So where does it intersect in your mind? It's similar to say you working on Okay, so it's, a, it's going to take you down the pathway of responding to a brief, responding to an RFP, a request for proposal, responding to a treatment, uh, and it's important that you do not leave this particular year of your academic work not knowing how to handle those, those important documents. Technically, uh, I should actually ask Emma what she's, what she's doing here. So do you mind? Do you mind just sitting here and telling people what you're doing? Because you, you'll you'll turn you'll turn from being green to white. Do you mind doing that? <laughs> just sit here and I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay. So Emma's 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 coming to you and to the world right now because this is actually semi-public. If anybody knew we were doing a hangout, they could join this through this thing. What's this? Describe this to me. What is that? Oh, okay. It's a webcam. What kind? Oh, it's a Logitech webcam, but why Why do you look better on this webcam than that green dot over there? What do you think? Yeah, it's a high quality, so it's a HD webcam. And it's, it, it is high definition. I mean, actually, the aspect ratio is 16.9, left and right, 
stereo audio sourcing for it. So it, it's going to um, it's going to make the skin look more like rich, warm color. The lights help a little bit to make it sure we don't look like we're in shadow all the time. Uh, and it's captured on her laptop. So you've heard this on that laptop. Okay, can you describe to me how the laptop's connected to the internet? You know? Okay, it's connected up to an O2 dongle. So you could be on a laptop somewhere, probably not on a mobile device like an iPad or, or a phone. Um, actually, you could. From the way this Hangout's set up, you could be using a lap the iPad to watch this anywhere in the world, or you could use a mobile phone to watch this anywhere, or the iPod Touch to watch it anywhere in the world. And you could actually connect back up with your voice, and interact with it. So we're this may look kind of weird, like why do this? Well, what's happening is I'm actually setting down in motion the answer to some of the academics to the question they ask about what is it you're doing in a class of creative multimedia that has any relevance at all. I mean, when I bring technology into the place that you guys study, the chances are it's an accessory and not a real thing. What's happening now, we're capturing the real thing. I've got three or four things in a, pro, in a, in a line of progression that leads to a very enriched tutorial session this afternoon, and I have a very clear target called an exam question that's been outlined in this short audio recording. I'm hoping that Emma's going to be able to make this into a quick after-the-fact video. I'll show her how to do it. So I'm just going to I'm going to leave this connection, but first um, we're going to see whether Emma, do you have a steady enough hand to pan this audience? You know, do it. Pick this up and just slowly turn around and show everybody. It's really hard because the camera works backwards to what she. I mean, things look will look sometimes look backwards. So sometimes some logos look backwards. So I don't know, uh, Chloe. Can you can you would you mind standing up? Let me see if Abercrombie looks backwards to this. See how it is? Yeah, point to the letter A on your on your point to the letter A. See, you're you're totally backwards on this. It's funny looking. You're so confused, but that's the way it works. Okay. So ever anyway, not a full crowd today, but still a crowd and not a crowd of fools. We're we're all here. You hit F10 on your keyboard and it'll oh not keyboard for that one. And and they'll start spooling it. So she's just going to basically uh, uh, stop the recording.